and welcome back to the unboxers and today we have something super exciting it is the miniverse make it mini kitchen <laughs> it's so big it barely, barely fits yeah. in the studio so um actually once we get it out of the box it won't be quite as big we do have some really cool packaging where they have the two recipes you can make off to the side there and the kitchen there which comes with two mini oven mitts That's how cool. cute is that <laughs> but my favorite part about this is the working uv light so you can literally cure your recipes in the oven oh yeah so how cool is that and they have some little uh looks like little cabinets there yeah as you know miniverse you get um extra ingredients according to how you build it and they always give you plenty to build to do it your own way or to follow the recipe so you have some places to store that's your cool. extra stuff now that is so awesome so let's the two recipes that it comes with if you look down there looks like a strawberry like a probably, probably strawberry lemonade maybe? yeah strawberry lemonade or milkshake yeah something like that oh i guess it has ice in it so probably you're right probably like a strawberry lemonade and then some donuts with <laughs> looks like cereal on top yeah it looks like yeah <laughs> very cute and then you do get a mystery oh, um cool. thing up there um i was gonna say i don't exactly see that might be the spoiler that that's what's up there is the little cereals i don't know uh, oh. it could be hidden in the donut box but let's go ahead and turn it around i do believe it does require um double a batteries and i'll show you i'll show you how many in just a second so it says customize your kitchen make it set it and display it oh how awesome is that look they made their own creation right there yeah of the cereal coming out of the strawberry lemonade that's really fun um so and then it shows where you can store the little oven mitts and donut boxes and stuff like that i have been so excited about this um because we've done miniverse before right and um we always cure it with a with a black light but um or the sunshine but now we get our own kitchen to do it in so that's really cool. Let's turn it upside down and tell them um, how many batteries. Um, yeah, three. There it is. It's actually, yes, three AA three batteries. batteries. So we'll need to get three AA batteries. Um, take this awesome Miniverse Make It Mini Kitchen out of the box and give you a much closer, and give you a much closer look as we build our two new recipes. All right, so there's the Miniverse Mini Kitchen yes. <laughs> out of the box. I'm already impressed. It looks so cool. Um, we just want to say, if you're coming to our channel for the first time, or if you're kind of new and you've seen a couple videos, check out a few more videos. I'm pretty selective on who I subscribe to, and I'm sure you are too, but we sure would appreciate it if you enjoy our videos, if you would like to subscribe. And... With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look, closer look at this kitchen. All right, so I'm going to show you what it comes with first, um, and then we'll take a look at the kitchen itself. It comes with, so here's the recipe ones that we had. Here's the chocolate donut things. They came like that. They were propped up. So we're going to be baking. We're going to be building those. And then this, so that goes with that. This goes with the donuts. This is the glaze. And then the donuts also came with this little tray. Isn't that cute? And then it came with a spoon as well. And that's like some little paper stuff for the tray. Um, also came with these. <laughs> I think these are super cool. Little, let's take them out of the oven. <laughs> let's give them a big hand. So, and then we have the cocoa berry milk. Ooh. And some ice. Some strawberries. So this will be um, the second recipe we'll build, um, and it came with the little like mason jar type thing with the straw, and that's what we'll build it in. All right. So stay tuned because we're gonna find out what that mystery thing is up there in the cabinet. I'm gonna slide all these over to the side. Um, I just love this kitchen so far. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Um, taking a look first of all, you see like the yellow background and all of that. Well, that actually can be swapped. So you have pink side. Oh, that's cool. You can swap it to the pink side. You can do um, an all pink kitchen or a pink and yellow kitchen. The other one sw switches if you push it out to the side here. All right, so then uh, if you tilt it like that, you can slide this one out 
And this one has a shopping list, coffee and milk. The other side has that. <laughs> so pretty cool. I'm just gonna leave this side on yellow and that one on pink. Why not? All right, we have a pink and yellow kitchen. And then um, we have the cabinets up here. This one just shows like you can uh, put the milk back up here. I mean, the container of resin back up here when you're done. So it's got this little piece, which will, you know, can come out. And then it has these shelves that are adjustable. So if you want to oh, put something really tall in there, you can take those out. And I, it's the extra features that I really like about this kitchen. Um, and then this side, and I love the dots. It makes it look like a um, comic book kitchen. Yeah, well, that's the um, thing. With like, the dots. I was going to say, like, it it's yes. like a nice sturdy plastic but it looks like it like when you look at it in the packaging it looks like it's paper or cardboard yeah. it doesn't oh, look yeah. like no. but it's definitely it is and it's got these two shelves i want to see uh yeah i don't think these they kind of look like they come actually i think they could come out let's see here yeah if you want to know i want to know okay yes they do slide out so if you had something really tall so i like that they make all these shelves adjustable here's our surprise we'll go ahead and take that out we're gonna save that for the end um i'm gonna give you a closer look here's the kitchen sink and it is a shallow sink so you better wash those dishes right away it's not a working sink but it does have the little um, water thing and i think that's really cool that they include it um here's the really cool part for all those tiny spoons and forks and everything that you get now you have a place to put them yeah, if you don't cool. build it into your recipe and then this one ha is just totally open for like tongs or whatever else extra straws um or some extra ingredients and then you have these two which um there was a thing in there that said it's like the cooling rack so you can um, take them out of the oven and put them in there to kind of um finish um the curing process um and then let's see here then we have this, which is like a great big one. Huh. And then that shelf pulls out as well, and it's clear. And now let's take a look at the oven itself. So when you pull up the pull open the oven door, you have, oh, of course, all the shininess so that the um, black light can bounce around. And you have this. So if you have a taller thing that you need to cure, you can take that out. So that's really awesome. Or you can put it down low so you have plenty of room. Um, and then I did want to show you as well on the back side. Ta da! So, on the back side, here's where you put in the batteries right here, the battery compartment. They've made it look like cabinets. It's got more, um, they finished decorating the back. I love that. They got some recipe books back here, some bowls. Um, and then here's your on off switch. I do have it on. And then um, you unscrew that for your batteries. It also has, ta da! Which I think is really cool because you can set more recipes back yeah. here. So isn't that awesome? All right. And then when you hit this button, I'll show you. Ta-da! Can you see the purple light? The black light, I mean, but it's purple color. And it has a little five-minute timer. Now the timer doesn't... I don't even know that it goes for a full five minutes, but it might. We'll, we're going to go ahead and test that out. But it doesn't move. But anyway, but when you open it... It does turn off. Ta-da! Oh, huh. So it will turn off. This knob is the one that turns it on and off um, in that mode. But if you want to make sure you don't hit it and accidentally turn it on, you have the, ma the main on-off switch on the back. All right, now that we've shown off our awesome kitchen, it's time to get to building some recipes. All right, first things first, before we get to building, here's our mystery. Let's go ahead and see what's inside, just in case it's something we can use in our recipe. All right, ooh, oh wow, look at that, a bowl, <laughs> a nice pink bowl, and we can put that on the shelf in there. Oh, and then we have, ooh, this is one of those, that's one of those little tops that makes it easier to squirt out. Ooh, berry ring cereal. So this must be where we see the berry rings on top of the donuts on the outside of the box. This just helps the resin come out. You can swap it out so you can um, squeeze this onto the donuts a little more um, than just like scooping it on there. So that will be handy um, as well as maybe squeezing it into the bowl. And then we have the tongs and the berry rings. So let's go ahead and see what these berry rings look like. 
Mm, I'm not gonna open them. I don't want them to go everywhere, but. Oh, oh. there they are. <laughs> They're all pink and blue and purple. How awesome. All right, it's time to build the recipe. Okay, so before we begin, uh, let's m make sure that you check out all of the instructions about um, how to play with resin. Um, and before you start, all of these good hints. So it's got some really good um, instructions with pictures. Everything's all spread out so you can easily see um, the different steps and how to um, build everything and the different features. It also tells you not to look directly into the UV light. So um, it also sh shows you about the shelves and the switching the background, like I said. So it's got some really good instructions in there and <clears throat> I think they were very easy to follow. So let's go ahead and start. So I think we're gonna start with the little, um, it says cocoa berry. So I have no idea, <clears throat> but it looks like this cocoa berry milk. So I'm gonna open it up, <clears throat> put some cocoa berry milk, and then we put these strawberries in it and our ice. All right, so there's our strawberries. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. They look like they have little hearts in the middle. And then um, we have our bag of ice. So what you can do, like if you're making two different recipes at once and you wanna cure something in the middle, you can actually, you know, begin to cure it as you're building the other recipe. All right, and since I don't have the tiniest of fingers like I used to, uh, I, mean, I like to use some toothpicks to kind of move things around. So let's go ahead and open up the ice, pour some of that in. <clears throat> Ta-da! Pour some of this in here. So this is one of those like open drinks. It doesn't really come with a um, a lid, so you can just you know fill it pretty full. Put some more ice in there. I love the little ice cubes. So cute. Okay, that's a good amount. All right, we're gonna start off with that, and then we're gonna open up our resin. Let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> we're super zoomed in. All right, there it is. It is ready to go. We're gonna pour in some of that. All right, so we're gonna put some of that in there. I'm just gonna kind of stir it around with the straw a little bit. Um, now, I can put some of these strawberries in and kind of like, we do have our tongs. We can like uh, drop it in with the tongs or drop it in this way. I'm gonna slide it down there. See if I can kind of push it down in there with the toothpick kind of get it on the side so you can see it. Oh yeah, that worked out. So let's check it out. Woo! Looking good, full of strawberry goodness. I'm sure somebody could have done it neater, but I still think it looks awesome. All right, so for our first curing, we open up the oven door and it goes, now it has the straw. So what we'll do is we'll lower this so we have enough room. Okay, let's see. Can you see? Ta-da! Into the oven it goes. And <clears throat> close the door. We're gonna hit this. It is gonna say five minutes. And it is gonna cure for five minutes. And we go on to our next recipe. Next, while that's still curing, we're on to the donuts. So I have our little cereal spilt out here because of how they have it on the box. It's kind of like put the glaze on and you can, I found my tongs. You can use the tongs to put the um, the cereal on top of the donut. So, and I thought maybe I could you could do one with strawberries, but I used all of my strawberries in that, and that's quite all right. All right, so we're gonna use we put the tip on the glaze, took the other lid off, and then it had a protective seal. Take that off, and then we have this. So I'm going to put some of this in here, but I want to leave enough glaze so that we can build a bowl of cereal. I'm so excited about that. And that's apparently what the spoon is for, I think. Because who would eat donuts with a spoon? So let's go ahead. Ooh, all right. So there we have that. All right. So look at those. Very cool. I kind of like it. One of them has a few more cereals on it, but that's okay. Donuts are always random like that. All right, our donuts are looking good. 
And now let's go ahead and put the rest of the glaze in here so we can build our bowl of cereal. Okay, so with this actual top, this extra piece on the top, you're able to get a lot of the resin out of there when you shake it out of there. So it had that much more. I was able to build the cereal and just threw all the rest of the cereal in there that I could find. So we're going to go ahead and cure these in the oven. Let's go ahead and take a look and take out the other one. Take out our drink and see how it is. Let's see here. <gasps> look at that. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, it looks awesome. Look at that. It's all cured and ready to go. Very cool. Time to put it on our counter and we'll take the Let's see, I wonder if we can fit both of these in there. Let's see here. Okay, so as you can see, I raised the shelf up one notch and then put the cereal on top and the donuts on the bottom. And let's get to curing or baking. All right, so I took them out. Um, our cereal is cured just like that. All in the little five minute timer, both of them. And the donuts are cured. And boy, is this a lot easier than um, I think that, well, I've never been out to like just sit in the sun with them. We usually use the little black light flashlight, but I really love this. Put it in the oven and as they say, set it and forget it. <laughs> you can push the button. It goes off after five minutes. And there's our three recipes. Now you can see I've decorated the kitchen. I am so impressed by this. This is one of the coolest mini kitchens. Um, and I have some of our lifestyle mini verse in the back. You got the candles and the little succulents, but I'm so glad to have some place to store and display all of our mini verse awesome recipes, our cool little lifestyle crafts and such. Um, so it looks awesome. And one more bonus. So if I turn this around slowly, you can see we have some of the recipes on the back like a little buffet line. So I'm so glad that they included that. I think it is so awesome. Just a great extra feature that they didn't have to add, but it adds so much to it and gives you more room to display your awesome mini-verse recipes. All right, so there's one last look at the mini-verse mini kitchen. And I think it is totally awesome. I will be curing many more mini-verse in that oven because I think it's really cool. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.